My name is Jason Seabeck. I attended a lecture titled Ice Fishing for Neutrinos given on September 12, 2016 by Wisconsin researcher Francis Halsen. This lecture was about Dr. Halsen's multi-decade experience with various physics research experiments searching for subatomic particles. The most impressive of these experiments was the Amanda Project. This project was an immense scale neutrino detection construction that involved burying hundreds of sensors about a mile into the ultra-pure Antarctic ice. The total area of this detection field was about a square kilometer. Extraordinary. During the first half of the lecture, Halsen discussed the developments in mankind's understanding of particle physics that guided the creation of the Amanda Project. He touched on the different ways larger particles can de decay into neutrinos and the conjectures renowned physicists like Cherenkov made about the importance of neutrinos and what they tell us about electromagnetic radi radiation. He also highlighted many of the mysteries that have been uncovered by high-level mathematical thinking on the physical universe, and the past machines that have been built to verify and expand these trials and thinking. He mentioned that one of the biggest quandaries in astronomy is where super high energies detected in the universe measuring some 3 tera electron volts came from. He also talked about the amazing evolution of the telescope and how complex they have become. This is one thing that truly astounded me. Human ingenuity has yielded fantastically complex and sophisticated contraptions that enable us to unlock many of the mysteries of the physical universe. The ability of modern te telescopes to measure waves with properties far beyond what we can physically sense is absolutely fantastic. The description of the power of modern telescopes and the new information I learned about neutrinos were the biggest takeaways I had from this lecture. The latter portion of the lecture contained anecdotes about the many years he spent building this monolithic experience. From many cold nights and unforeseen challenges, he sees his experience on the project as one of the best times of his life. What I realized from this telling of his experiences is just how formidable the emotional roller coaster physicists embark on. They spend their whole lives researching, and the longer they spend, the more t pressure times place, time places on them to produce results. I never thought about how research scientists are at the mercy of their data. In this case, the matriculation of the data from the Amanda experiment, like many other experiments, the scientist has to overcome a battery of heuristics and dangerous assumptions while the data grows from a small, non-representative data set to a reliable one. Halsen concludes his talk by discussing the implications of his findings and to better understanding the universe of the behavior of the cosmos. By talking with Georgia Tech professors and engaging in some independent study, I have better connected the dots that were laying out before me by this lecture, and have since learned plenty about particle physics and the inner workings of the universe as we see them. Although Dr. Halsen will likely not see this, I would like to thank him for coming to share his experiences and expertise.